Hello and welcome to Storytime at Coaster Corner. Today's story is The Night Before Coastermas. Now, Coastermas, as you know, is the wonderful holiday where we celebrate the opening of our local theme park for the season. Let's use my magical ride bolt and see who's joining us for Storytime today, shall we? Oh, okay, yeah. Ha! I knew you'd be there. Yeah. Oh, I see them too. Huh. Wow. Okay. Seriously? Okay, as you can see, everyone's here. <laughs> so let's start the story already. Was the night before Coastermas, and all through the park, pass holders were anxious to ride in the dark. The coasters inspected by park staff with care awaited the riders to enter their lair. The trains had emerged from their maintenance sheds, some rides with restraints that feel rough on our heads. I boarded a coaster, restraint on my lap. I just settled down for another quick lap. The loudspeaker sounded, it buzzed and it clattered. I fastened my seatbelt, pretending it mattered. The loaders were thorough, yet quick as a flash, getting their work done without being brash. The train climbed the lift hill, so steady and slow. I looked at the park brightly lit down below. When what to my wondering gaze should I see but the eyes of Leviathan glowing at me? I dove down that first drop so smoothly and quick, preparing myself for the coaster's next trick. More rapid than eagles, this B&M train kept roaring and soaring again and again. A tunnel then up through an overbanked curve, an airtime hill camelback mere invert swerve. For a moment this monster escaped in the dark, flew into the car lot, then back to the park. When riding a coaster, you feel you can fly. You trade all your cares for adrenaline's high. Theme parks are truly a wonderful sight. Happy Coastermas to all, and to all a good night.